Hey, it's Bob from Home Cook Basics. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. So today we're talking about French toast. And this is French toast for beginners. I'm gonna make it really simple and easy so you don't get frustrated when you're trying to make this for the first time. Now this is the French toast I used to have as a kid. My mom used to make it this way with whatever bread that she had in the fridge. Now if you know why French toast is called French toast, please let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure the origin of it or why it's called French toast, but it's really simple to make. So for simple ingredients, we got some white bread. So just plain old white bread or whatever you wanna use. You can use some uh, French bread. You can use whatever you have for bread. I like to go a little bit thicker. The thicker it is, kind of the, I think it, I think it just works a lot better. We got some butter and you want cold butter. So this is important, this is what we're gonna cook it in and you want it to be cold. A little bit of milk, or if you have heavy cream, you can use that. Some people like cream or half and half. I add cinnamon to mine. Cinnamon's really good. We got two eggs. You know, figure you got like one egg per piece of toast. So if you were doing, you know, you could probably get away though with two eggs and three pieces of toast, depending on how big it is and how thick your bread is. And then I always salt everything. Everything gets a little bit of salt, so we got some salt here. So those are the simple ingredients for this beginner French toast. And then one thing to think about, you can always add all kinds of different things. Some people add vanilla. Some people use um, like a brioche bread, but we're gonna keep it really simple here. So whatever you like, go ahead and throw it in that mix. All right, so let's jump into the process. It's really simple. Grab all this stuff off of here. Get yourself a bowl. I'm gonna crack the eggs in this bowl. You know, one tip with eggs, crack the egg inside the bowl. If you crack it on the outside, it kind of runs off the side and gets on whatever you're working on, your cutting board or whatnot. So give it a crack on the inside and makes it really easy to not get it all over everything. And check for shells. I got one. Oh, I got two. Another shell. Cause it's not my day today with the eggs. Go ahead and add your milk. And I start to whisk it. Break up those yolks a little bit and then go ahead and mix it. Uh, you can always use, you could always do this right in a, you know, just a regular bowl. But um, I like to use something like wide like this because it really helps fit that bread when I dunk it. I don't soak my French toast. So I'm only putting it in here to get a coating of that egg so it's not all soggy when you go ahead and eat it. So just give it a good whisk. You're really just trying to mix those ingredients. Add a couple dashes of cinnamon in there. Couple pinches of salt. And continue to incorporate all that. Sometimes that cinnamon kind of wants to do its own thing. So you really gotta whisk it in there. Now I don't soak it like I told you, so we're gonna go over to the stove and start cooking it. Then what we're gonna do is dunk it right there before we put it in the frying pan. So what you wanna do is go ahead and uh, warm up your pan to medium heat. This quirky stove here gets really hot, so I'm only putting it at two, but 
Now, a lot depends on how your stove works. It's something you got to keep doing. So as you're learning to cook and the more you cook, the more you learn how your pan retains heat. The cheaper, some of the cheaper pans don't re retain heat that well. So they get really hot really fast. Um, people's stoves work differently. These pans have been great. I got this pan, it's um, from a company called Made In. It's pretty cool, you should check it out. I'll have a link for it in the description. So now that we got that pretty warm, I'm gonna grab a good chunk of butter. Really get it in there, let it do its thing. I think I'm gonna need a little more. Spread around that pan. I like to get along that edge. So if I get my French toast over there, I got myself covered. Make sure your egg mix is all well incorporated if you let it sit for a minute. Because that cinnamon will tend to, tend to clump up. You want it all together. Then you're just gonna simply take it in Put it on one side, plop it on the other side, and then lay it in the pan. See that pan was good enough hot that you can hear a little bit of sizzle going on. This stuff is cold too, so you just change the heat of that pan really fast. Maybe it could have been a little bit hotter. The other one. The goal is to let it cook on that side, let it brown up a bit. Go ahead and check it. See if you're getting a little bit brown under there. You're not talking real long here. You know, a lot depends on your heat. So it's been about a couple minutes. Now we're gonna flip it. That one, I lost the corner. You guys, if you notice you need a little more butter, don't be afraid to get it in there. Add some more butter. Lift up that side, get it under there. Oh man, that smells good. Keep an eye on that other side. You don't want to burn it. This side's cooking a little bit quicker. I'm just going to give it another flip actually on that first side. So we get a little more, a little more cooked. And that is it. Go ahead and pull it off. All right, let's grab these off the stove and throw some syrup on them. Get a little bit of crisp on there. Now this part is really important. When it comes to maple syrup, you gotta use the real thing. So if you're using Aunt Jemima, it's not the real thing. Take a look at the back of it. It's like the number one ingredient is corn syrup or something like that. You want to get pure maple syrup. I'm kind of lucky I live in up here in New England and it's everywhere. But really important, pure maple syrup. And then we're just going to go ahead and drizzle this right on here. Now pure maple syrup is a lot thinner than the stuff you're probably used to if you're uh, using the Jemima. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. French toast. So I got another one right after this video. Check out 
scrambled eggs for beginners. This is like American style. It's not like if you watch Gordon Ramsay, the real fancy way he does it, and he makes it constant, constant, constantly, and it comes out almost like cottage cheese. I'm not a big fan of that. I've always made it quick and fast. It's something you'd probably see in a diner in the United States. These eggs are cooked quickly, and they're really good scrambled eggs. So check out the video. And I'll see you next time on Home Cook Basics.